All right. So Cleve has been sharing how to household wisdom, first with a vacuuming video, and today he would like to share his surefire floor mopping technique. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. After the tremendous success of my vacuuming uh, video, I've got <laughs> tremendous comments about that. This is already so funny, I can barely hold the camera steady. <laughs> and the outpouring, the outpouring of, of that is, <laughs> has encouraged me to continue my series of, of cleaning around the house. And mopping <laughs> comes second to vacuuming as far as a good house is concerned. A lot of folks, like my friend John here, don't know how to properly mop. Now, okay. you don't know that. Uh, I, I've seen you walk. I know you don't know how to mop. So <laughs> the point is we have a technique for mopping that will be a great way to clean your floor. Now, the important thing is, is this has to be a linoleum floor. It cannot be a wood floor that doesn't work. This, this will scour or, or mess up your wood floor. This is strictly for linoleum. That's important. And second, I'm not going to actually have water in the bucket, so I'll be simulating what you'll be doing in reality. So, so it's the, fake mopping. The, yeah, the principle is the same. The principle is the same. <laughs> All right. This is the proper way to mop a linoleum floor. And I, I've got written it down. We're going to put this up on our morning show blog at WAFJ.com if you want to see it. You'll want to see it. So there's a how-to guide to go along with the video. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. All right. Now, for really important jobs, you want to ditch the sponge mop. All right. That sponge mop is a fake. It's good for little quick pick-me-ups, that kind of spills, but you don't want to use it to truly mop and clean your house. So ditch the sponge mop, get the cloth mop, the real the mop, the traditional mop, the mop that made this, this, this nation great. We want to get the, the, the real mops, okay? And be sure that you use very hot water. And I'm not talking about warm water. I'm talking about hot water. The way to test it, if you can hold your hand in the water longer than three seconds, it's not hot enough. So we want this water to be very hot. The hotter the water, the cleaner your floor. Now, also make sure that you have maximum illumination. And what I mean is we've got pretty good lighting here in our studio. This is good. Actually, we're in the lobby. What, but, yeah, okay, lobby <laughs> studio. But you really want to be able to see your floor. So I suggest, and we're not going to do it now, but I would suggest getting some masking tape or some, some kind of duct tape and taping a flashlight right here about on your mop. Uh, what? A, a flashlight. We got a good bright neon flashlight that would work, but do you really do that at home? No, I'm just saying. But this is a good idea. All right, I may start to do it. It, it helps you to see better. Okay. So anyway, once you get a good <laughs> illumination on your floor, the next thing you want to do is take the mop, dip it in there, and I say uh, do it about seven times because well, for one thing that's biblical. And Not, and nice. Simulation there, yes. Cleve. Yes, see you're on This is fake mopping I, here, folks. I'm not splattering. I'm taking the time. All right, I've dunked it. Imagine that there's water right there. Now, I prefer pine saw. I prefer using pine saw. Uh, almost totally 50% pine saw, 50% water. Unfortunately, uh, the pine saw is no longer the original formulation, so I would, you can use whatever you want to use. I, I'm not going to stick with pine saw myself since they've changed it. You want to put it in the water. Then you want to pre-treat your floor. You look for the spots of dirt and grime. You know, if you're like our friend uh, David Perry, our production director, he has a dog in the house, and they may leave some, some, some doggy spots or something, you want to first spray it. Now, I suggest using vinegar Windex. The Windex with vinegar in it is a great solution for soaking up any kind of spots, and you want to let it sit for about like two or three minutes, all right? What you don't want to do is wait longer than two or three minutes because then it will dry up on your floor and that only creates another problem. Then, the most important part starts, the actual mopping. I'll put that here. I like to squeeze it out by hand. The technique for that is simply to grab it and, and begin to turn it here. Imagine that there's water yeah. pouring off of that mop. Now, because it's hot, you're probably going to have to do this quickly, all right? And I also, this mop is a borrowed mop. Uh, Joanne, our front office lady, went and got it for us, and she admitted that it's not, you know, it's shed a lot. It's not really a full-figured mop. The mop I use is about four times as much material as this mop right here, but we'll use this for our example. Squeeze it out, and then you start, and this is the important part of mopping. You want to do wide strokes. Now, John, I can tell you don't even kind of stab and do this kind of stuff. You want to go wide. You're looking for a figure eight type mop. It's, it's it's very similar to what the Navy uh, people do when they swab the deck. 
Yeah, they don't do this. And you know this because you were in the Navy? I've seen sailors at work, yeah. Okay. You go like this, back and forth, back and forth. You're covering a lot of area. And doing this, you can walk around. You'll be done with a nice size room, no time flat. And you'll be dizzy, too. <laughs> now, the next part is drying it. Uh, some people actually open up the windows and maybe set a box fan here and yonder. That's good. My method is a little bit better because what you do, you just take your shoes off and you go get the, your thickest bath towels. You put one around one foot, put them around the other foot, and then you walk you where you have mopped. <laughs> so you're both drying and you're also buffing at the same time. And the floor is dry and it looks nice and clean. And I guarantee you, you will have a nice, thoroughly mopped room if you follow Cleve's Surefire mopping technique. Mm -hmm.